So this is what happens in the UK when you try to make a video about dull weather. But the day didn't start like this. Instead, it started very dull, ordinary and grey. Usually when I'm out doing landscape photography, I pick the day based on the weather forecast. Today I'm out and it's dull, grey and horrible. So what do you do? Well, I'm going to try and share some tips about what I do when I'm faced with these conditions. Well, I'm starting to get a feeling of deja vu. I was up here back in 2017 and it was exactly the same conditions. There's a lot of fog rolled in, mist everywhere, no colour and very, very dull and grey. Often when I'm faced with conditions like this and I want to shoot a large landscape, I turn the camera into black and white. It lets me see much easier what's going on with the composition. Something else I should say is that whilst I'm shooting black and white, I'm shooting in raw. So that'll give me the option of colour. Now sometimes you don't think colour's going to work very well in conditions like this. And then it surprises you and you get a great shot. Oh, it's windy now. With all the wind, it's time to find a new location that's a bit more sheltered. It might make the photography easier as well. Oh look, I bumped into Steve in the middle of nowhere. What are the chances of that happening? When the sky's flat and grey, it's often best to compose to leave it out of the frame. But when it's got a little bit more definition, even a grey sky can look great when you convert it to black and white. Often, just changing the direction you point the camera can have a dramatic effect on the definition you see. Is that cowbells I hear? No. Well the sky's lost a lot of definition now, so I'm switching from the wide angle lens that I was using where we had some mist, and I'm going to use a longer lens and hopefully that will bring in some compositions where I can leave out the sky completely and they'll look a lot better. Well, I've come down now into the forest because the lighting up on top was just so flat that it wasn't working for wide landscapes. So even with long lenses, I was shooting and cropping in, but there wasn't enough light. So I've actually come into the forest. Now the thing about forests is that it actually works really well when the conditions are flat. Because of the cloud covering, the light just gets diffused everywhere, so you don't have any shadows. Something else that's useful to do when the conditions are like this is actually pop on a polarizer. Now it works really well in the forest when there's no direct light. What happens is you get rid of all the reflection off the damp grass and damp trees. Look at this first example where you can see lots of reflected blue light on the wet bracken and also on the rock. Now compare this to this second image where I've used a polarizer. Notice how the highlights that are in the other image have now gone. The image looks somehow more saturated. Something else that can work really well in these conditions is some macro work. Now I haven't got a macro lens with me, but what I do have is a long telephoto. So I've got that on the camera at the moment and I'm going to try and get a picture of some of these great fungus that I found growing on this tree. Now because the conditions for the landscape are really dull and grey, it means that the light it's been spread, I've no shadows, so it should work quite well.
Well, it's always a danger in uh, dull conditions that it's going to turn into rain. So this is what happens in the UK when you try to make a video about dull weather. It turns into a storm. Right, attempt number two. Well, the rain's actually stopped just for a few minutes and conditions are no longer dull and grey. They're uh, wet, grey and dull with maybe a little bit of light. And there's another lesson. When you think the conditions are terrible, still keep shooting. You never know quite what you're going to get or what you might be able to achieve in post-processing. I'm not sure how well this is going to come across because it's blowing an absolute gale. Um, so this is no longer a video about shooting in dull weather, it's about shooting in high winds and it's too windy for a tripod so be prepared to shoot handheld. And that was pretty much the end of the day. Now if you want some ideas about processing your dull grey photos, watch this video next.